Hey everyone, it's Nick from Nick's Crossing. Welcome back to the railroad for a quick Nick's review. And today I want to go over my beautiful Baltimore and Ohio Budliner cars, RDCs. That stands for Rail Diesel Car. And these were produced from 1989 to 1991 by K-Line. Now the original Budliners, there's a whole history of that. I can post that in the description of this video. Now a few months back, I actually ran these on a Monday run day, which is the channel's scheduled live stream. And Mr. Lance Boyle actually saw these and ran his RDCs on his channel. So I'll post his uh, video of that in the description of this video as well. And he gave me a little bit of a shout out. So um, returning the favor, Mr. Lance Boyle, thank you so much. And I'm also reviewing these cars because I will be at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum next weekend, August 14th, 2021, to take part of the Diesel Day. And they actually have a running Bud Liner car, which is really cool. Don't really get to see those every day. And they have a bunch of other diesel motive power, such as uh, GP7, I believe a GP40 or GP38, a bunch of other stuff, some F units that they have going to be awesome so definitely look out for that video so i thought why not why not review my bud liners i'll get to see theirs so here we go um this is the uh like i said 26,001 bud liner car and I actually have another 26,001 right here we have that in front of the screen there you go for proof and these were actually purchased at a local antique shop for i believe 30 dollars for both of them together, they're just kind of thrown in a box. Now they are missing some pieces. Up top it would have had a horn on either side. Someone tore those off, I'm not exactly sure why. There are purple lights inside of these. Here you go, I'll show you guys. Put it on neutral so you guys can see that. Oh, banjo signal's going crazy back there. <laughs> but maybe someone's a Ravens fan, I'm not exactly sure, but there are purple lights inside of these RDC Budliner cars. Both of them unfortunately are powered, so I have to kind of fight, do one of these to see which way it's gonna start in. A Couple other things with this locomotive. Um, these are K-Line pieces that have the motors in the trucks. And that creates an issue with traction sometimes or uh, weight distribution, so these like to take a topple off the tracks all the time. So these do go very fast and they have DC motors in them. If you actually take off the shell, they have a circuit card that converts the AC to DC. I believe it's a rectifier. Also, the circuit card is for the three position E unit, which you guys can see again right here. Here's neutral, reverse, and forward. Here's the motor on the bottom of each power truck. Each truck also has pickups, but you can see that little DC motors crammed in there and lots of plastic gears and traction tires. A lot of fun right there. Also on each front and rear, these do display that classic Baltimore and Ohio roundhouse logo. Now these cars actually feature the silhouettes classic from you know the Lionel post-war era all kinds of people in here it looks like a lady with a child uh, this guy's getting yelled at looks like behind him these people are doing something you know always a story and you can use your imagination to go between them now each front and rear has it looks like either a conductor or engineer not exactly sure you guys tell me what they look like but the guy on the right looks like he's operating the locomotive all right guys, so here are both of my 26,001 power units, and here we go trying to match them up. One wants to go, one goes that way, and they should meet in the middle. All right, so they're all ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, these also do not have the classic die cast trucks. These are all very plasticky. <laughs> uh, definitely not of post-war quality, but these are running pieces. Now, I'm not even gonna try it, but this train will fail the switch test that I always test during most of my reviews. It will fail. There's not enough weight in these bud liners to uh, go across the switch evenly. I've actually had these fly off the top loop and also derail. 
Now also because they don't use that much amperage, they don't trip the automatic switches. So um, if you're just running a loop under a Christmas tree or a simple loop uh, like the main line going around the uh, bottom portion of the layout, they work perfectly fine. Alright everyone, that's going to conclude this very short Nix review. Um, I apologize that you guys didn't get to ride behind the Bud cars tonight. I was really worried that they would derail and the action cam would go flying off the table, onto the floor, all that good stuff. But the RDCs did derail twice in the tunnel, a whole lot of fun with that. Also derailed over the switch and then after the switch, then the other one actually seized up. So a whole lot of awesome problems that happen when you introduce switches with these locomotives. Now normally I just run these on a uh, continuous loop under the Christmas tree around Christmas time. So the only thing that could derail them is speed and also the cat. So, uh, you know, it's all good. Uh, very little room for error in that type of application. Also, if you guys have ever ridden an RDC or if you enjoy these cars, if you have them, I'd love to hear in comments. These are pretty cool pieces. I'd love to get my hands on some of the original Lionel post-war RDC Budliner cars. They look really cool, but they are very collectible and expensive. So it's it's on the bucket list of items for sure. But anyways, if any of you guys are new to the channel, um, always consider subscribing. Give the video a like. It really helps out the channel. Until next time, everyone, happy railroading. See ya.